this handsome guy is a bunyip. Yes, I said bunyip. Um, for those of you like me who don't know what that is, um, we are currently naming animals with the naming convention of mythological creatures. I just Googled it and uh, a bunyip is a mythological creature um, from uh, Australian Aboriginal origins. So uh, you can do a little bit more research if you're interested. Um, he is uh, one to two years old and he's a domestic long hair. He's a gray and he's just, um, he's color coded yellow, as a, uh, which means that he's a little bit shy. But um, in recent days, I've seen him out on the adoption floor just coming up and asking for attention, showing um, volunteers his belly, getting lots of pets. And um, so he's definitely coming out of his shell a little bit. Um, when he came in, um, he had some mats on him that were shaved out. Uh, with any of the longer haired breeds, it is more important to maintain, to keep up with their grooming maintenance. Um, he's gonna need to be brushed more frequently than a, a shorter haired cat. So just making sure that you're um, committed to, to keeping up with that because clearly um, he has had some mats in the past. So it's something that might occur again in the future. Um, he's um, you know, being updated as we speak on all of his uh, medical things. He's already had um, some of his vaccinations, his dewormer, flea and tick preventative. Um, he's going to be neutered in the uh, uh, next few days. Um, he has been treated for an upper respiratory infection, which is something that um, a lot of the cats here uh, get. It's basically a cold. And that is one of the many reasons why we ask visitors not to stick their hands in all of the cages and pet the animals. Um, because as you go from one cage to the next, especially if you're not cleaning your hands, you're spreading germs um, that can lead to the spread of that upper respiratory infection. Um, he's about eight pounds, um, so um, he's an average size cat, and he's definitely um, going to make someone a great companion. Um, you know, the first step is to come in and visit with the animals here at the shelter. So um, the adoption process is you come in, you find an animal you're interested in, you make sure that we're still accepting applications on that animal, you read their profile, that's always what I'm holding on the show, uh, then you visit with them. If you're still interested, then you fill out an application. Applications take about two to five days to process. Um, if you're selected to adopt, then uh, there's an interview before you're able to take your animal home. Um, so it's um, a process that's designed to make sure that um, we are finding the best homes for all of our animals and that the animals are gonna be in forever homes. Uh, if you uh, wanna make your home a forever home for a bunyip, then you can stop in and visit with him here. Um, we are open to the public to visit animals Monday through Saturday. Um, and the hours of operation are going to be on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, excuse me, from 10 to 5, Wednesday and Thursday from 12 to 8, and Saturday from 10 to 4.